Hey guys, what we're going to do now that we have our base HTML, we're just going to create uh, the couple other uh, views or, or layouts that we have, like the register form, um, the details view, and uh, the cart. All right, so I just want to say that some minor details may be different when we actually um, when we actually insert the view into our application, uh, as opposed to this this uh, skeleton HTML so there might be a few things for instance we don't have the quantity here um, we're just going to add that when we actually do the the application view alright so the next page I want to do is the register dot HTML alright so let's go to our HTML folder and I'm going to create a new document and call it register dot HTML and we might as well create the other pages as well. Let's create details. Details.html. And also uh, cart HTML. Alright, so I'm going to open up register. And basically, I'm just going to copy everything from the index page, which is our base layout or base template and paste that in and then we just the sidebar is going to be the exact same um, let's uh, delete the main content which is the games okay so we just want to clear out this eight column div okay so it ends right here so we want to just get rid of everything that's in it Um, actually, you know what? Let's. We want to keep the panel. Okay, see how we have this panel, uh, and then we have the panel heading. So let's go right under um, panel body. Okay, let's see where this ends. Right there. Uh, so let's just grab this whole row. Okay, so right here. All right, so for the title, let's go ahead and change that. Um, I'm actually going to just change that to the gaming place. And I'm going to paste in the form. All right, so basically we just have a form with a name. Uh, actually, I need to change this up a little bit. It's going to be a first name. Okay, we can change this to first name and we might as well oh yeah we need okay we need a last name again I'm sorry that I can't um, can type everything uh, because I mean as it is we need three videos just to do this the HTML and I, I don't even want to spend three videos on it but then again I don't want to just um, you know not do it and just throw it in because I like to, to kind of build it from from top to bottom um, and I do apologize that I can't hand type every single HTML tag uh, it would just make this way too long. All right, so I'm trying to uh, just make it short and sweet, I guess. All right, so first name, last name, email, username, password, password confirm, and then register. All right, so pretty simple form. Uh, let's save that. And we should now be able to go to create account. All right, so... I know this looks a little weird. Uh, we're going to fix that when we do the CSS. So that's register. Um, the next one, let's do the details page. So if we open that up, I'm just going to copy what we have in register. Paste that in. Okay, and we just want to 
get rid of the form. And I'm just going to paste in here. All right, so basically I paste in a row and I added the class details. All right, then we have um, a four column and an eight column. All right, so if we look at the, uh, actually let's just, we'll just save it and look at it. But anyway, we have the, the, the name of the game, the price, we have the details and then a buy button or a submit button. All right, which says add to cart. So if we save that, reload, and we click on one of these games. Uh, actually, it takes us to a, a product.html. It should be details. Um, but just so I don't have to change everything, I'm just going to rename details to product. All right, and basically all of them are going to go to this Call of Duty because that's what I have for our static content. All right, so very, very simple details page. All right, so the last page that I want to create is the cart. So let's open that up. And again, I'm going to copy everything and register. And then we want to just delete the form. I'm going to paste in the cart, which is basically a table. Okay, so we have a table with the product, quantity, price. I have a couple sample items in there. And then we just have basically a form down here for the address, uh, city, state, zip code, and then a checkout button. And there will be some minor changes to, to the HTML when we actually implement the view in our application but not too much won't be too much different so let's save that and just check out uh, let's see we want to go to cart dot html all right I actually want to use the striped table class that comes with bootstrap so let's see we want the table tag I'm going to change this from table bordered to table striped all right so then we get that every other row is striped effect so that looks good um, those are the, the main pages so now what I want to do is just uh, customize create our custom CSS file open up custom CSS uh, I want to open it with notepad plus plus and let's go ahead and get rid of this starter template class we don't need that and if we look at the template you can see that the 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 uh, the main content area is pushed up against the nav bar so what I'm going to do is bring that body um, padding top I'm going to bring that to 75 all right so that looks a lot better um, the nav bar is good except I want the links to be white and not this um, darker gray grayish color all right so we'll say navbar a color is going to be white and let's make that important all right so now they're white and the next thing i want to do is the cart block all right so we actually want a, a background for that and just um, make it pop a little more so let's see, let's do, I believe it's cart block. And we'll give it a background of dark gray. And of course we want the color to be white. And a padding of 10 pixels and also just a, a, a margin bottom and I want that to be 20 pixels okay so that gives us our cart and next I want to add some panel stuff um, just to I want to make this dark this background make this one green uh, just customize it a little bit so 
let's first uh, say panel list A. I want to display as a block and make the color dark gray. And let's see the, the panel heading. So panel list and panel heading um, H3. I want to add some padding there and also change the font size, make it a little bigger, 18 pixels. All right, and then we'll do the custom panels. Um, let me just paste those in. Okay, so we get our panel heading green and panel heading dark. Okay, so let's save that. Okay, so now this is dark, this is green. That one's gray, that's fine. You can see that there's more padding now, it makes it a little bigger, a little more prominent. All right, so let's go back to the home page. Index. All right, so now I want to do this area, the games. Uh, so let's. All right, so each each of these um, columns has a class called game. So I want to I want to position those relative because we're going to position these prices uh, absolute inside of the the actual image div so it'll be like right here all right so let's go and create game and we just want to make sure that we display relative and I believe that's all we need for the actual game class next is the game title which do I even have yeah okay so this is the title let me just make sure that that has a class um, okay so yeah we have the div class game title around the actual title okay so back to custom CSS and I want this to align center And let's see what else. Let's uh, add some padding, five pixels, and give it a background of dark gray. And then make sure the color is white. All right, so save that. Okay. And we'll take care of that space on the side in a minute. Um, the images. Okay, so the game image, I want to stretch across 100%. Okay, we want it, what am I doing? So game with 100%, and this actually should be game image. All right, so you can see it shrunk because it was stretching out of its div. By putting it at 100%, it's going to be 100% of its parent div, all right, which made it match up with the title. All right, so the price, let's do that now. Game price. And like I said, it's going to be positioned absolute. Get from the bottom we're going to do 120 pixels and from the right we're going to do 15 pixels and give it a, a green background okay so background is going to be 3 B 7 E 1 4 and we want to make sure that the color is white um, and padding Five pixels. We'll make the font size bigger. Let's make it um, 22 pixels, and that should be 
good for the price. All right, let's check that out. All right, so now the price is here. Okay, nice and big. Uh, let's move it down a little bit. I'm gonna bring this bottom. Let's see what 100 pixels looks like. All right, so that looks better. Now, um, the add to cart button. Has a class of game add. Okay, so the margin, we're gonna do um, five on the top. We want auto on the left and right, and 20 on the bottom. I wanna stretch, make sure the width goes 100%, and text align, I want it centered. All right, so we'll be adding the quantity field in there uh, when we actually create it in the application. But that should be good for now for the products page or the home page. All right, so this is the detail page, which um, I'm not gonna put too much effort into. It's just a page with the image and description and, another, and a button. Um, the page really isn't needed since you can just add them uh, in the products view but I figured I'd add it. Uh, I'm just gonna make this price bigger. Um, so, details, price. Uh, I'm gonna make the font size um, 25 pixels and add a margin bottom of 20 pixels and then I just want to make sure the image stretches a hundred percent of its parent div so details details image width is going to be a hundred percent and that should be fine for this page all right so that's that's fine uh, so I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, we will have uh, some minor changes to the HTML as we go along. Oh, the footer, uh, I just wanna change that or add to it. So we want footer and I'm gonna give it a dark background. Color will be white. Um, give it a height of 70 and what else text align is going to be center and also add 20 pixels padding to the top all right so that looks a lot better so I think we're good for our HTML template um, Next, we're going to jump into our Code Igniter application and get going on.